Hey guys, it's me, X Mr. Cheese, and some welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time, my commentary was crap. Okay, seriously, I, we got right ahead and took on the second gym of the game, fought against Bugsy, who looks like a girl, and also fought against our rival, and in this part, we're pretty much gonna go ahead. Um, check out this house right here with a sign. Charcoal Kiln. Well, let's go into the kiln. Oh boy, it's hot in here. Slowbug has returned, but my apprentice hasn't come back from Ilex Forest. Where in the world is that lazy guy? Well, it's not nice to call people lazy. He probably, I mean, shouldn't you be looking for him? I mean, it is kind of lit and dark. I mean, he is in a forest. Alex Forest, enter through the gate. Well, let's go ahead and do this. And here you're gonna go ahead and find a lot of bug Pokemon such as... Well, I don't know because I don't have the list with me right now, but it should appear right on the side of the screen at this very moment. Alex Forest is big. Be careful, don't get lost. The forest is... Uh, terrible voice, I might as well just my normal one. The forest is watched over by his protector. Stay out of mischief. Or you might be attacked by his god, his protector! Nah. Well, anyways, we got this creepy music here, and, well, either way, we're in Alex Forest. Basically, regardless as if you are in tall grass or not, in fact, I don't think there is tall grass. Either way, you're gonna run into a wild Pokemon, basically. Wherever. So it's just like this! Here we got in a new Pokemon, Venonat. If I remember right, it is actually pretty good at special... A pretty good special attacker from what I've heard, although I could be completely wrong. Man, I should have just had the list up right now, and I probably should. What are you doing? Are you the apprentice? Oh man, my boss is going to be Steven. Hey, it is the apprentice! The farfetch that cuts trees for charcoal took off on me. I can't go looking for it here in the Eyelace Forest. I mean, here in the dark. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. Hmm. Well, there's a tree up there you can see that requires cut. And... But why do you care about a Farfetch? The Farfetch has terrible stance. It is basically weak to a variety of types. Being a flying type, it's no wonder why that it's endangered. It's a missing Pokemon. And sure enough, this is gonna be a big chase quest. So basically, let's try to go around, quickly grab this item. Yes, a revive! Well, let's actually try to go around and try to sneak up on stupid wild Pokemon. Hey, take a look, it's Paris! And I can't talk about it because I don't have his dance right up. Oh, jeez, This really shows why you're supposed to study when you're stuck before you actually do a video about it. Know your best, kid! Water! Let's try to go here. Water! There, it's going straight to his owner. <laughs> Ran into a tree. And there we go! Very simple if you just sneak up behind it. Well, wow, thanks a bunch. My boss is putting my will. What a baby, because I don't have a badge. Hmm. Corner now, aren't ya? Time to the boss. Ah, oh, my farfetch. You found it for us, kid? Without it, we won't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Take this. And receive HMO1, which is cut. I think we only need to use cut only once in this entire in that tree up ahead. So yeah. That 
that's a cut shape um, teach it to uh, put mine to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Well then... Guess we're gonna have to work around. I believe that there is a TM here that I really want to get. But I'm not sure if I need to cut down that tree or not, so... I guess I'll actually do some exploring. If there is nothing here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. And apparently we can also find Oddish in here. I think that I already covered Oddish before, but I'm not entirely sure. You can apparently find Psyduck here. I have no idea why whatsoever. Okay, apparently there was absolutely nothing there and I actually gonna have to use this HM and teach it to a Pokemon. Now, Expo is the only Pokemon I have that can use it. I honestly don't want my starters to have HM moves like I did in Pokemon Red. But... Luckily, I believe there is a move to leader somewhere in the game. So, first opportunity I get, I can go ahead and delete cut. Yes, move to leader basically means he can make a Pokemon forget a move, including HM moves. Gonna go ahead and get rid of Leer. And, we learn cut. Now we can finally cut down that tree. And move on ahead, and there seems to be a shrine there. Specifically, it looks like a Hakora. If you want to know what a Hakora is, it's basically a small shrine dedicated to small folk gods. And it's Forest Shrine. It's in honor of the Forest Protector. Specifically, I'm talking about Shintoism, obviously. Yeah, I studied quite a bit about Shintoism. Just another oddish. But yeah, Shintoism, I studied it up on it because I've been playing a lot of Toho as of lately. Hey, this forest is overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Well, we don't have anything to detect items, but we can well, invisible items, but we can clearly see items in plain view, such as that X attack, which I am not gonna use. Basically, for this guy, this is the guy that I was talking about. You basically gonna have to circle around to get him. Just as I was about to get that item, I just had to run into a wild battle. There is a lot of cutting because I don't believe that the previous down Azalea even have repels. So yeah, this is very annoying. Very annoying indeed. I freaking hate you, Hoot. Anyways, down here is basically the guy that I want to talk to. Another green-haired guy that kind of looks like Bugsy, except if Bugsy was a guy. Or at least looks like a guy. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here you try it too. TMO2 contains headbutt. Basically, you can use it in the overworld to actually knock Pokemon out of trees. Some Pokemon you can only get by doing this, such as Heracross and Apon. So from here on out, I'm gonna be showing what Pokemon you can get by using Headbutt. Well, trees was said, but sometimes sleeping Pokemon. Excuse me, I just burped there. Yes, yeah, sometimes I have silent burps, which is weird. Well, there is actually one Pokemon that I really want, and that would be an Apom. But currently... Sorry, paper's flying all over the place. 
Unfortunately, currently, the only Pokemon that I have that can learn Headbutt, Great Polymo can learn Headbutt as well. Okay, uh... That's nice, I guess. Well, anyways, at least Polymo done it. Only had three moves, so he won't forget anything. So, by the way, when it comes down to TMs, the TM will disappear after using it, so do be careful with it. But, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use teach Polybo some headbutt. And our TM now disappears. But basically, this is the only time that I'm gonna use Headbutt because I'm gonna go back to Azealia Town because there's a high probability that we're gonna get an Apon, and I really want an Apon, so... Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, I'm gonna have an Apon in my party, and I guess we'll continue farther into Ilex Forest. I will see you guys... Random Battle... Then... I hate you, Venonat.